Hey, bud. Didn't see you there. You mind if I smoke? You do? Uh, what do you want? Oh, you want to hear what I thought about X-Men Apocalypse? Spoil it free, of course. But, uh, remember how I said I wasn't going to smoke? Gotta smoke. Hey there comic book fans, I'm John Anderson and I just watched X-Men Apocalypse and it was pretty good. For those of you who aren't that familiar with X-Men Apocalypse, basically it's about this godlike media named El Salvador or Apocalypse who wants to destroy the world and the X-Men have to put a stop to his plan. We have James McAvoy returning as Professor X and Michael Fassbender as Magneto who have really fit into these roles after these three films. Especially in regards to Magneto who seems to have this Spider-Man complex that every time you think he's doing alright something tragic has to happen to the guy which gives him a lot more backstory especially when compared to the other members of the Four Horsemen. And speaking of the Four Horsemen, you got Magneto, Storm, Psylocke, and Archangel, who to be honest, the other three horsemen don't get that much development, but I understand why they didn't really develop them, because it would have taken a lot more time, and would have really disrupted the pace of the film. Still, I think Angel gets more development in X3 versus Archangel in this film, and Psylocke has very minimal development whatsoever. But Storm, though, again, has minimal development. I'm excited to see what they do with her in the next film. Next I want to touch on the new additions of Jean Grey, Scott Summers, and Nightcrawler, who were three previous characters from the original trilogy. I feel like these actors don't really stand out on the film, but I mean that in the best way possible because it doesn't feel like they're impersonating or copying the previous characters that we saw before. They're bringing new elements, but at the same time being faithful to those previous characters. Jennifer Lawrence returns as Mystique or Raven, which to be honest, I think I prefer Rebecca Romaine's Mystique over Jennifer Lawrence, just because they seem to be making her more of a hero in this trilogy versus the villainous character that we got in the original trilogy. And speaking of villains, you have Oscar Isaac playing El Salvador or Apocalypse, which you have this great looking actor and he covers his face with prosthetics to make him irrecognizable, but Oscar does do the best with what he is given. Which I think has a lot to do with what I think is the biggest issue with the film, which is lack of stakes, because you have this incident known as the Apocalypse, and though there's a lot of destruction, you don't see a lot of casualties or feel the weight that the world is going to end. Which may be due to the fan backlash from the destruction of Man of Steel. Perhaps Brian Singer didn't want to be characterized in that film with a lot of civilian casualties. Next we have arguably the best part of Days of Future Past, and that would be Quicksilver, who's given a little bit more to do in this film. And obviously we have seen that rivals the kitchen scene for Days of Future Past, which is very well done. But in my opinion, I think that the original kitchen scene is better than this, which I think has a lot to do with the Avengers complex, where the first time the Avengers assembled, it was amazing. And the second time in Age of Ultron was also amazing but didn't compare to the first time. And finally, given my intro, I obviously gotta talk about Wolverine, which in my opinion was more of a gracious cameo, but if you're a fan of the character, I think you'll really enjoy it. Overall, if you're a fan of the X-Men franchise, I think you'll really like this film. It's not as quite as X2 or Days of Future Past, but it's definitely on the same level as X-Men The First Class, in my opinion. It's got a lot of action, it's got a lot of drama, and surprisingly a lot of humor, so I definitely recommend seeing it. I'm going to have it give it a split right down the middle of a Ducey and a Marvelous. So that's my thoughts on X-Men Apocalypse. Let me know down in the comments below what you guys thought of the film. And as always, guys, if you like this video, be sure to share and subscribe. Follow me on Facebook at John Ryan Anderson or on Instagram and Twitter at The Comic Look. And remember, guys, as always, comics do deserve a second look.